Hello and welcome to The Rundown. Now it's no secret that the NSA has been spying on the American people. Between WikiLeaks and Snowden, we're at least aware of the fact. We just don't know how far it runs. Der Spiegel, a German investigative publication, has revealed another NSA spying program, codenamed Dropout Jeep. In it, we learn that the NSA has had full control of the iPhone for six years. That means that yes, they were watching your FaceTimes and reading your texts, listening to your voicemail, and tracking your location history. Once the NSA software was on your iPhone, it meant that they could remotely control your camera and microphone as well. So, hey, where's my tinfoil hat? Now, considering what we knew about the NSA's actions beforehand, now, seriously, they were spying on World of Warcraft hoping to uncover some kind of terrorist plot. It's not shocking to learn that the agency has had a hold of the country's most popular line of smartphones. If they were to target any one phone specifically, the iPhone is the logical choice. Now, if the NSA has had complete surveillance over the iPhone since 2008, then what does that actually mean? In that span, we've seen four complete operating systems from Apple. So the question remains, how much did Apple actually know about this, or possibly contribute to it? Keep in mind that in early December, Apple was part of the eight-company coalition that put their names on the Reform Government Surveillance Act, but they didn't actually sign on to join the group, and Tim Cook didn't release a statement, and Apple has willingly tracked its users in the past. Now, are Android phones immune to this sort of treatment? Probably not, but maybe not to the same extent as the iPhone. It's one thing to crack a piece of software that lives on one or two devices, but there's a countless variety of Androids. Now, Windows users might be worried, too, if there was a significant number of them. Then again, Microsoft has also had a history of supplying user information to the federal government. Perhaps this latest report will not be the last we hear of this phone hacking. Thanks for joining us. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter at IvyTimesTV.